The 1974 Super Outbreak – A Multi-State Catastrophe The 1974 Super Outbreak remains one of the most historic and terrifying tornado events in U.S. history. It unfolded over just 18 hours on April 3rd to 4th, 1974, yet it produced an astonishing 148 tornadoes across 13 states, from Alabama and Kentucky to Ohio, and even parts of Canada. What set this outbreak apart was not just the number of tornadoes, but their power. Of the 148 tornadoes, 30 were classified as F4 and 6 as F5, the highest category at the time. Entire towns, such as Zania, Ohio, were almost wiped off the map. The destruction in Zania was so severe that entire neighborhoods were reduced to bare foundations. The outbreak caused over 300 deaths and more than 5,000 injuries. Thousands of homes, schools, and businesses were destroyed. Scientists later studied the outbreak extensively, discovering that a massive low-pressure system had clashed with warm, moist Gulf air and strong jet stream winds, creating perfect conditions for supercell thunderstorms capable of producing violent tornadoes. This outbreak became a turning point in tornado research and forecasting. The 2011 super outbreak, the largest in history, the April 25th to 28th, 2011. Super outbreak surpassed every record before it in terms of scale and destruction. Over the course of four days, a powerful storm system produced 360 confirmed tornadoes across 21 states, stretching from Texas and Mississippi all the way to Pennsylvania and New York. The most catastrophic day was April 27, 2011, when an unprecedented 216 tornadoes touched down in just 24 hours. Many of these were classified as EF4 or EF5, with winds exceeding 200 miles per hour. 320 kilometers per hour. Entire communities in Tuscaloosa and Birmingham, Alabama were devastated. Streets were unrecognizable, homes were reduced to piles of debris, and massive trees were uprooted like twigs. This outbreak resulted in 324 fatalities and caused an estimated $12 billion in damages, making it one of the deadliest and costliest in U.S. history. The combination of long-track violent tornadoes and densely populated areas amplified the human and economic toll. Despite advanced forecasting tools, the scale and speed of the outbreak overwhelmed warning systems and emergency responders. The Tri-State Tornado of 1925 – A Single Tornado's Fury The Tri-State Tornado of March 18, 1925 stands out in history because of its unprecedented power and duration. While it was technically a single tornado rather than an outbreak, its impact across three states made it one of the most destructive tornado events ever recorded. This tornado carved a path over 219 miles, 352 kilometers, across Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana, maintaining its strength for more than three hours, a record that still stands. Wind speeds were estimated to exceed 300 miles per hour, 480 kilometers per hour, Entire towns such as Murfreesboro and Gorham in Illinois were completely leveled. The death toll reached 695 people, making it the deadliest single tornado in U.S. history. Thousands were injured, and tens of thousands were left homeless. The disaster occurred before modern warning systems, meaning many people had no advance notice. The Tri-State Tornado underscored the need for better forecasting and public safety measures, leading to gradual improvements in weather monitoring and communications. The Palm Sunday Outbreak of 1965 – A Deadly Holiday The Palm Sunday Outbreak on April 11 to 12, 1965 brought tragedy to the Midwest. The storm system produced 47 confirmed tornadoes that swept across states including Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Illinois. Many of the tornadoes were violent F4s, and they often struck small towns without warning. The outbreak caused 271 deaths and left over 3,400 people injured. One particularly tragic aspect was that many victims were attending Palm Sunday church services when the storms hit, which caught entire congregations by surprise and left little time for shelter. This disaster revealed the urgent need for a more reliable warning system. In its aftermath, investments were made to expand Doppler radar coverage and improve communication between meteorologists and the public. The Palm Sunday outbreak also spurred the introduction of standardized tornado watches and warnings in the United States. 
The 2019 Easter Weekend Outbreak – A Modern Day Disaster On April 13-14, 2019 during Easter weekend, a powerful storm system spawned more than 140 tornadoes across the southern United States. States like Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Georgia faced widespread destruction as the storms ripped through both rural areas and urban communities. The outbreak claimed 32 lives and injured many more. Thousands of homes were destroyed or severely damaged, and entire communities faced long recoveries. Despite modern forecasting and warning technologies, the speed and intensity of the storms made it difficult for many to reach safe shelter in time. This outbreak reminded the world that tornadoes remain a persistent threat even in the 21st century. The use of advanced Doppler radar, mobile phone alerts, and real-time satellite imagery helped save many lives. But the disaster showed that vulnerable communities still face significant risks. The 1984 Carolinas Outbreak Twin State Devastation On March 28, 1984, a severe weather system spawned 24 tornadoes that tore across North and South Carolina. Many of the tornadoes were strong F3 and F4 storms, destroying homes, schools, and businesses. The outbreak killed 57 people and injured more than 1,200 others. Entire towns were left in ruins, and rural communities were particularly hard hit due to limited access to shelters and warning systems at the time. This disaster underscored the fact that deadly tornado outbreaks are not confined to the central United States Tornado Alley. Areas in the southeast and even along the east coast can also experience devastating tornado events under the right conditions. The 2008 Super Tuesday Outbreak – A Political Day Turned Tragic the Super Tuesday outbreak of February 5th to 6th, 2008, struck during one of the busiest political days of the U.S. presidential primary season. As voters were casting ballots, a powerful storm system unleashed 87 tornadoes across the South. States like Tennessee, Arkansas, Mississippi, and Kentucky were among the hardest hit. Several of the tornadoes reached EF4 strength, leveling homes, schools, and entire neighborhoods. The outbreak killed 57 people, injured hundreds, and caused over $1 billion in damages. The timing of the event made emergency response particularly challenging, as resources were stretched thin. The disaster served as a stark reminder that severe weather can strike at any time, even during national events. The 1947 Glacier Higgins Woodward Tornadoes – Early Warnings of Outbreak Potential the April 9, 1947 outbreak is remembered as one of the earliest recognized examples of a large-scale tornado disaster. A powerful weather system produced multiple violent tornadoes across Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. The deadliest of these storms struck Woodward, Oklahoma, where an estimated F5 tornado destroyed much of the town. The Woodward tornado killed 181 people and injured over 900 others, leaving a long scar across the Great Plains. This event occurred before the implementation of modern tornado warning systems. Many victims had little or no warning, which highlighted the urgent need for better forecasting and communication, developments that began to emerge in the following decades. The 1953 Flint Beecher and Worcester Tornado Outbreaks – A Wake-Up Call for Preparedness In June 1953, two deadly tornadoes struck in regions not typically associated with such severe storms, shocking the nation. The first hit the Flint Beecher area in Michigan, killing 116 people and injuring hundreds more. Just days later, another tornado struck Worcester, Massachusetts, killing 94 people and causing catastrophic destruction. These disasters prompted a national re-evaluation of tornado preparedness. The events emphasized that tornadoes could occur far outside the traditional tornado alley and that urban centers in the Midwest and Northeast were also at risk. The 2020 Easter Tornado Outbreak – Tornadoes Amid a Pandemic On April 12th to 13th, 2020, during the early stages of the COVID-19 pandemic, a large-scale tornado outbreak swept through the southeastern United States. The outbreak produced over 140 tornadoes, including several EF3 and EF4 storms. States such as Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and South Carolina were hit especially hard. The storms killed 32 people and left thousands without homes or power. The pandemic complicated disaster response efforts. 
Shelters had to balance providing protection from the storms with maintaining social distancing and preventing virus spread. This event revealed the challenges of responding to overlapping crises and underscored the importance of resilient emergency management systems.